Hello, and welcome back to our web development course. In this lecture, we're going to continue with our HTML section and we're going to look at HTML styles. And remember, it is the part 7 of this web development course. So let's get started. The HTML style attribute. Setting the style of an HTML can be done with a HTML attribute. For example, we include just the tag name and put the style in the first tag and then put its property and then we include the value. That's the syntax that we use when you're creating an HTML style tag, I mean style attribute. And you should note and always remember the property of style is a CSS property. It's not an HTML style property, but it is just a CSS property. The value of uh, this style is also a CSS value. So, here are some examples of HTML style. For example, we have headings are defined with the H1 tag up to H6 tag. And we can use these tags to make the background of this. I mean, we can give them background using the style tag. For example, to give them background, you just use the background, I mean, the word background color for the color of the certain tag that we need to put its background. We use the color to format the text color. And we use font family to format the font style of that text inside that tag. We use the font size to format the font size of certain tag and we use text alignment to format the text alignment of that particular tag. Then lastly, let's go to the code and practice what we've discussed. I'll switch back to my code editor and save this as seven underscore styles dot html. Don't forget to put dot html, okay? Then I'll make my HTML structure. If you know how to make this, I'll put here maybe styles. Okay. Then I'll put here my paragraph. Okay. My 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 heading, H1. Okay. Maybe I'll say Islamic hotel. Okay. I'll say my hotel. My hotel. Okay. Then I'll say I'll put here my paragraph. I say we serve best foods in this hotel in this hotel oh you just say in our hotel hotel okay then I'll put again maybe h3 for h3 I'll say you are welcome okay Alright, click and say open your browser. Then this is what you have written. Okay, this is H1, this is H2, this is H3. Now let us use the CS, I mean the HTML tags to command this text. Maybe I want this one to be red. To do that, I will come in the first tag, the opening tag, and type the word style. Style. Sorry, style. Then when I type the word style, I'll have to, it will open, I mean we have to open the double quotes and close these double quotes. Then you say style is equal to open double quotes and close the double quotes. Then inside here you put an, uh, you put a property and a value, property and a value. For example, we need to give this one a red color. So to give a red color, just write the word color. Okay, then you put the property, I mean the other the value. That color is what you call a property, and the color that we're going to give is a value. So I can say red, okay? Then I save, control S, and I switch to the browser, and I come and refresh. So you can see now my word is red. My hotel is red. We can still pass through this same attribute more more conditions for example you need the background you just say background color back 
background in the word background then put the hyphen and say color okay then maybe we need it to be green it's a bad mixing okay so I'll switch and come and refresh you can see the background is green and the word is yellow so maybe if I make it yellow double L come and refresh you can see the background is yellow and the color of the text is green so let us make more one thing maybe we should give this one um, what should you say the color we have already looked at that let me go back and see mm, maybe font size okay font size to do that you just say style you say font size font then height in then size okay then put a double or the colon then put the value maybe font size is equal to 40 pixels okay then put a semicolon so it means that this paragraph is going to be given 40 pixels of its font size I'll switch back and come and refresh you can see it has been switched to 40 pixels as as the its font size so that's how we format HTML using style by giving it whatever work as our style by giving it conditions and that's a part of CSS you have not come to CSS but this is part of CSS CSS is the one that describes how HTML should look like and we've seen how it works so I hope if you're practicing you've also got it clearly so if you do not get it still put your problem in the comment section and we shall discuss about it so in the next video you're going to look at HTML text formatting I hope you not miss in that lecture we're going to discuss about HTML text formatting and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like that video if it was helpful to you and thank you for watching